Good afternoon and welcome back. We are still solving simultaneous equations graphically. So not by substitution or not by the elimination method, but by graphing and by drawing the linear equations. As you've seen before in my previous video, just quickly, this was the question before, we got the equation y equals 2x minus 1 and y equals minus x plus 2 and we drew the lines and the point of intersection is our solution. That was at x is 1 and y is 1. Now the good thing about the previous question was that both equations were written in the gradient intercept form. Yeah? So y equals mx plus c, yeah? y equals 2x minus 1, y equals minus x plus 2. But on many occasions your equations are not written in the gradient intercept form. Like here, it's x plus y equals 5, x minus y equals 1. And a very good thing to do then is just to rearrange those both equations and to manipulate them um, slightly so they are written in the gradient intercept form. So let's start with that. So this first one, um, so y equals, I have to take away the x, minus x, that's only equal if I do that on the other side as well. Yeah? And minus x plus 5 is what it becomes. And here, uh, perhaps it... Okay, I'll take away the x on both sides then. So I'll have a minus y equals minus x plus 1. Yeah, and that's not completely finished yet because I'm not interested in minus y. I want to know what y equals. So the top one is finished. Yeah? That is gradient intercept form. To get rid of the minus sign, I can, if you like, divide everything by a minus one. Yeah, both sides. The result is that all the signs will change on the right side of my equal sign. So a positive x minus one. Okay, both equations now are written in um, gradient intercept form. Yeah. Now to solve these simultaneous equations graphically, like I said before, we have to draw them. So I'm going to make a fishbone table for the first one, uh, x, y. And again, I've said it in the previous videos, I call it a fishbone table because it looks like a dead fish, but it's, it's not an important word to remember. Anyway, we can choose a value for x, anything. Let's take, for instance, uh, well, let's take zero. Yeah, so I'll put a zero there. What is y when x is zero? So minus zero plus five. Yeah, so y is going to be five. Let's take one. So y is going to be minus x or minus 1 plus 5, uh, or 5 minus 1, that is 4. Let's take for x is 2, minus 2 plus 5, and that is 3. And a third point is just to check our work. Okay, now let me plot that point already, and I'll do the second line in a minute. Um, so we have point zero five. 0, 3, 4, 5, that's over there, 1, 4, that's over here, and 2, 3. And all three are lying on one line, so I can uh, just draw that. And so if I look at the equation, uh, I have a negative gradient of minus 1, so I know the line is going down, the y intercept is 5. And as you can see, that is all the case. So I've done a good job there drawing it. Um, there we go. Let me just label that y equals minus x plus 5. Alright, so now I'm going to do the same thing for my second equation, y equals x minus 1. Let me draw a little arrow there, make a fishbone table. Okay, because we want to draw it, how are we solving it graphically? 0, what is y when x is 0? Zero? 0 minus 1. What is y when x is 1? Uh, 1 minus 1, that is 0. And let's do 2. What is y when x is 2? Well, then y is 2 minus 1, that is 1. Okay, got three points. Let's see if I just make a silly mistake. Let's see if they are all three of them on the same line. And if not, I just check my workings. Eh? 0 minus 1, that's over there. Yeah, that's my y intercept there. Eh? 1 is 0, that's over there and 2, 1. And yes, they are on one line, yeah. a positive gradient of 1, y intercept is minus 1. So I'm going up, one step to the right, one up, and yeah, this is just what I'm telling myself. I'm completely in control. 
everything makes sense. Let me label that y equals x minus 1. Okay, so for which x and for which y are they both the same? Yeah, that's their point of intersection. And what is the coordinate there? That is at 3, 2. Do you see that? So the answer to these simultaneous equations is for x is a 3 and for y is 2. Then those two equations are equal. Yeah, so that will be your answer. Now, if I would have used the substitution method, or if I would have used the elimination method, as two different strategies to solve simultaneous equations, I would have gotten the exact same answer. 